good morning students good morning to all and last day we have studied about the reserve bank of india and we have started that next chapter also and in this reserve bank of india we have studied the origin of reserve bank of india and the functions of or the need of the banking sectors so today just we will go to the next concept the functions of the reserve bank of india reserve bank of india the organizational structure of reserve bank of india in which structure the reserve bank of india was organized means first we have to study about the head office the head office of the reserve bank of india is situated in mumbai the central office has 33 departments in 2017 and it has four zonal offices in mumbai delhi calcutta and chennai functioning under local boards with deputy governors as their heads so here we have to know one thing some of the 21 members board is appointed by the government of india so those who are involved in this board of director are in this government of india means first the reserve bank of india consists one governor and four deputy governors appointed for a period of four years in every four years the governor and the four deputy governors will be changed by the government so the governors and the deputy governors must be completed the economics and finance also and some 10 directors from various field various field means the sports and the economics and the commerce and the business like that some of the various field the 10 directors will be there in these structures next two government officials two government officers will be there and some of the four directors the four directors will be get from local boards these four directors only will have the full authority powers next functions of rbi the functions of reserve bank of india so the functions of reserve bank of india will be classified under the three broadly characters first one is leadership and supervisory functions and next traditional functions next promotional functions first we can see the leadership and the supervisory functions under this leadership and the supervisory functions the reserve bank of india plays a vital role first the india's representative in world financial institutions so india being the fastest growing economy in the world like that india is expected to play a major role in the world affairs by many countries because normally all the nations will focusing on the developing countries only so all the developed countries also will have the competitive with the developing countries so in this way the india is also play the vital role because it is the developing countries and the reserve bank of india being the banking institutional head of india has to be a part of global institutions because the part of global institutions mean it will be have more dealing with the world financial organizations instead of all the commercial banks situated in india so it has to transform the quality and the size of banks in india to the level of banks in the developed countries so how many commercial banks are there in this india which all the commercial bank is going to develop with underlining or under the guidance of the reserve bank of india only so the reserve bank of india such function get prominence in current scenario so india as representative in world financial institutions so our nations also have to take more responsibility to fulfill the financial abilities but in these situations if our nations doesn't have the sufficient level of the financial abilities and if it is want to 
borrow the money from any of the financial facilities. So the India only act as the representative in world financial institutions. So all the commercial banks and our Indian government also will be in the need of having the financial assistance from any of the world financial organizations. So on behalf of Indian government, the Reserve Bank of India only act as a representative in world financial organizations. So in order to maintain consistency and harmony with international banking standards, the Reserve Bank of India is associated with the Basel Committee of Banking Supervisions. So Reserve Bank of India represents the government of India in international bank for reconstruction and development. So normally we will say Indian Bank for Rural Constructions or the World Bank or the International Monetary Fund. So different type of the world financial organizations are being throughout our world. The, all the nations also having the power and the rights to borrowing the money from the world bank or the world financial organizations. But here in India, so on behalf of the Indian government, the Reserve Bank of India only acting as a representative in this world financial organization. Next, regulator and supervisor of Indian banking system. So Indian banking systems are there. So in this Indian banking system, different type of the efforts have to take. Some of the problems have to be solved. And some of the decisions have to be taken on behalf of the government. So here the Reserve Bank of India only is considered as a regulator and the supervisor of banking systems. The board guidelines for all banking operations in the country are formulated by the Reserve Bank of India. So how much amount of cash reserve ratio have to be followed and in which bank rate the bank have to be borrowed the uh, lending the money to the entrepreneurs and whenever the bank rate have to be increased and it decreased and in whichever method the lending power is going to reach the consumers and like such as things also have to taken by the Reserve Bank of India only. The Reserve Bank of India has power to issue license, control and supervise the commercial banks under the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934 and the Banking Regulation Act 1949. So Reserve Bank of India Act 1934 and the Banking Regulation Act 1949 according to these two act the Reserve Bank of India only has to the power to issuing the license to start out any of the other banks. And this bank only has the full monopoly power to control and supervise the commercial banks situated in throughout our India. So it conducts inspection of the commercial banks and calls for returns and other necessary information from them. So what are the guidelines is leaving from the Reserve Bank of India? It is, must be followed by all the commercial banks. And any of the banking system is required to bring in any of the new inventory and innovations. So on the basis of the guidelines of the Reserve Bank of India only, it will come to effort. Next, monetary authority. The Reserve Bank of India formulates and implements and monitors the monetary policy of the country in order to maintain price stability, controlling inflationary trends and the economic growth. So all the nations must be want to get the price stabilities and controlling the inflationary trends and bringing the monetary policies. But in India, on behalf of India, the Reserve Bank of India only have to formulate and implement all the monetary policies. Already we have studied in economics. So monetary policy only is the macroeconomic policy or the macroeconomic tools. Because when we are bringing the good monetary authority or the good monetary policies only, the nations must be build a strong nations. So and not only that, if the nations want to maintain the price stabilities and controlling the inflationary trends, the good monetary policies must be needed. So and not only that, the Reserve Bank of India provides advisors to the government concerning agricultural finance, resource mobilizations for implementing plans, 
and legislations affecting banking and credit and international finance. If any of the legislations plan or if any of the legislation plans affecting and credit international finance, the Reserve Bank of India have only have to bring a good plus or act. And Reserve Bank of India only provides the advice to the government concerning the agricultural finance. Whenever the finance for the agricultural have to be increased and in whichever method in whichever way we can provide the or we can lending the money to the agriculturist. If it is not able to lending the money to the agriculturist, so whatever problem will come, everything will be exposed and explained by the Reserve Bank of India only. Next, closely monitoring economic parameters. So broad economic parameters such as the employment levels, price levels, and the production levels, the trade cycles, foreign investment, balance of payment, balance of trade, balance of markets, etc. are closely monitored by the Reserve Bank of India in order to achieve the economic stability and growth. So uh, one of the nations must be bringing the stability in the growth and achieve the economic development. If you want to achieve the economic development, we must maintaining the price stability and the economic growth. So because of that, we must be monitoring the production level, trade cycles, foreign investment, foreign exchange, and inflationary situations, and the trade level, everything we have to focusing very keen and very clear. So on behalf of the government, so the Reserve Bank of India only will be following and focusing and clearing all these things. So the Board of Financial Supervisions of the Reserve Bank of India meets at least once in a month to closely monitor all this current development in the countries. So monthly once it will be regulates or it will be closely monitor all the current developments in the countries. So what is the money value? So in how the price stability is going on? How the foreign exchange is moving on? It will be developed or it will be decreased. Everything will be monitored by the Reserve Bank of India. Next, traditional functions. Some of the traditional functions also must be followed and uh, undertaken by the Reserve Bank of India. So in this way, so the Reserve Bank of India doing some of the functions. So first one of these, banker and financial advisor to the government. So all the individual peoples and the entrepreneurs also will be in need of having one of the bank for them the commercial bank of india acting like a bank to that people but like that the government also need one of the bank and the financial advisor so the reserve bank of india only will be doing that functions as a banker and the financial advisor to the government the reserve bank of india accept money into the central and state government's account and make payments on their behalf so even the state government and the central governments will be earning the money in such a way and they have to spend for something way. So on behalf of the government, maybe the state government or the central government, on behalf of the government, the Reserve Bank of India only lending the money to or the spending the money to the infrastructure facilities or the public welfare. So it manages government debt and it is responsible for issues of new loans. So the government, on behalf of the government, the Reserve Bank of India only have to get the government debt. And it only has the responsible for this is the new loans for the entrepreneurs and the individuals and even to the government. So it advises the government on the quantum timing and terms of new loans. It provides ways and the means advances to the government to tide over the temporary financial needs. Next, monopoly of note issues. So we know already so the Reserve Bank of India only issuing the currency notes. And not only that, the Reserve Bank of India only got the monopoly power to issuing the 
currency to our nations. So the Reserve Bank of India is the sole authority for the printing and issues of all currencies note in India except one rupee note. But the Indian one rupee note is issued by the financial ministries or ministries of finance. So it is the duty of the Reserve Bank of India to ensure that sufficient number of good quality currency notes is available to the public. So on the basis of the populations and on the basis of the circulation of money, so it has to be issued the currency notes by holding the some amount of the gold as a reserve. So one rupee note and all kinds are issued by the Ministry of Finance. Currency notes are printed at Nasik, Devas, Salboni and Mysore and Osangabad. So in five states and in the five capital places, so the Indian currency notes are going to issue, except the one rupee note and the coins. Next, Bangas Bank. So Bangas Bank means so the bank for all the commercial banks. So all the commercial banks only having the power to lending the money or borrowing the loans to the public and the entrepreneurs. But if the commercial banks want to borrow the money, one of the bank must be needed. So the commercial bank, the Central Bank of India act as a bankers to all the commercial banks. The relationship between the Reserve Bank of India and other banks in the country is just like the relationship of a commercial bank with its customers. How the commercial banks will have the dealing and they will taking care of the public like that the Reserve Bank of India will be taking care to the care of the commercial banks and it will be lending the money to the commercial banks. The RBA maintains the current accounts of all commercial banks in the countries. How the commercial banks are collecting the deposit from the customers? Like that, the Reserve Bank of India also maintains their current accounts of all commercial banks throughout our world. So not only that, the, all the scheduled banks should deposit a percentage of cash reserves with the Reserve Bank of India. So how many commercial banks are there in throughout the uh, world, sorry, throughout the India? So this commercial bank must be deposited some amount of or some percentage of money in the form of cash reserve. So all banks can receive loan from the Reserve Bank of India by rediscounting of bills and against approved securities. So on the basis of the prescribed or approved securities, all the commercial banks will have the rights to borrow the money and receive the loans from the RBI. Next, controller of credit and liquidity. So the credit system and the liquidity of money also has to be controlled in these nations. Then who will control the credit and the liquidity amount of money in our nations mean? On behalf of the government, the Reserve Bank of India only will be doing this work, such as controlling the credit and the liquidity. So the controlling the credit money in circulations and the interest rate in the country is major function of RBI. Because the money supply will always depending upon the rate of interest. So the credit must be come to the control. So in which basis the Reserve Bank of India will bring under the control of the credit or will bring the credit under the control means by fixing the rate of interest on the basis of the proper time. So normally in inflation time, the Reserve Bank of India will fixing the more rate of interest to the commercial banks. In the deflation time, so it will be fixing the low rate of interest. So for this purpose, the Reserve Bank of India use quantitative and qualitative methods of control. So two type of the measures are there to controlling the credit facilities or the credit amount. So ensuring the availability of sufficient cash and credit for the business transaction and investment purposes in the economy is the responsibilities for the RBI. So when we are controlling the money supply or money circulation in our nations and controlling the credit and the uh, controlling the credit system only, 
we can bring the price stabilities and the good economy movement. So for that, the governments are taking the quantity methods of credit control and quality methods of credit control. So on the basis of the quantitative methods of credit control, so the Reserve Bank of India will doing the four type of actions. First one is bank rate policies. The bank rate refers to the rate at which the Reserve Bank of India risk discount the bills given by the scheduled bank. So already I told you, so the Reserve Bank of India only will fixing the rate, rate of interest and the borrowed or lending the money on the commercial banks. So normally the commercial banks only will lending the money to the entrepreneurs and the individual peoples in such a rate of interest. But in the inflation time or if the Reserve Bank of India want to control the credit, so it will be fixing the rate, bank rate. So on the basis of the bank rate policies, the Reserve Bank of India will change the rate of interest on lending the money to the commercial banks. So normally the Reserve Bank of India will be increasing the rate of interest on the inflation time and it will be reducing the rate of interest in the deflation time. When the Reserve Bank of India increasing the rate of interest to the commercial banks, the commercial bank also will reducing the power of borrowing the money or power of lending the money to the peoples as a loan. So normally the credit will come to the control. Next cash reserve ratio. So cash reserve ratio is the ratio of cash reserves with the RBI kept by the scheduled banks. Scheduled banks mean so all the commercial banks also will mean as a scheduled banks in proportion to the total time and demand liabilities. So as I told already, so all the commercial banks must be hold some percentage amount of money in the form of reserve. But in the time the Reserve Bank of India want to control the credit, it will be changing the cash reserve amount. So the inflation time, so the Reserve Bank of India will be increasing the cash reserve percentage, cash reserve ratio. According to the Reserve Bank of India or according to the fixing the cash reserve ratio, the commercial bank will losing the power to lending the money to the people. So according to that, so the credit also will come to the control. Next to open market operations. So the Reserve Bank of India directly buys or sells the securities and bills in the money market either to decrease or to increase the total volume of money. For the purpose of controlling the credit or the circulation of money in our nations, the Reserve Bank of India will doing the open market operations. According to the open market operations, the Reserve Bank of India will be selling and buying the securities. So normally in the inflation time, the Reserve Bank of India will be selling the securities to the public and in the deflation time it will be purchasing the securities from the public. So when we are selling the securities the public money from the public hands will come to the government hand. So normally the circulation of money also will be reduced. So on the controversy, the deflation time, if the Reserve Bank of India sell or purchasing the securities from the public, so the government have to pay it to the public. So the surplus of money will come to automatically increase. So on the basis of four method or four measures, the government or the Reserve Bank of India will bring the credit in the, under the control. The bank rate policy, cash reserve ratio, statutory liquidity ratio and open market operation. Bank rate means the rate of interest will be changed. The cash reserve ratio means the reserve amount provided by the commercial bank of in the commercial banks to the reserve bank will be increased. Next open market operations mean so on the basis of inflation and the deflation, the Reserve Bank of India will buy and selling the securities to the public.
okay students i think it's enough if you have any doubts in this functions of commercial banks and the quantity methods of credit control please ask me thank you